The first thing is that if you have a machine that does it all, it is much better for the workflow that you have in your clinic. Going to one machine, going to the next machine, uh, if you need additional information, maybe getting a third machine to evaluate the anterior segment of a patient, uh, it has some problems. It is good that you measure in one step, more or less simultaneously, through one uh, axis, through the eye, that's very important. And uh, the measurements between machines can also be altered. Patients get dry eye for frequently open his eye and so on. So having it done more or less in one second and giving you so much information, it's a thing that you need nowadays in cataract surgery. Yes, we have done extensive studies on this. Uh, in a study I just presented here on the, at the APAO this year, we looked at 163 patients and they were measured uh, with the uh, Pentacom AXL, AXL and the uh, IL Master 700. And it's quite interesting to see that the measurements in terms of axial lengths, in terms of keratometry, in terms of anterior chamber depths and so on, were significantly not different at all. We could see that actually in the axial length measurement, we had a slightly higher success rate with the Pentacom RXL, especially if we looked at the high quality measurements. Yeah, in every machine, IOL Master as well as the Pentacom, there's a mode in where the quality of the measurement is checked, the noise of the measurement and so on. And we had a higher rate, 85% on the first trial with the Pentacom and 79 with the IOL Master. We were a little bit surprised about that, but of course the Pentacom is also a machine that is long-term on the market, so it's a very uh, mature machine. Yeah? And um, we could see also in some of the measurements the variation or the so-called covariance of the uh, data is not so much spreading compared to, to the IOL master. But overall, they are extremely comparable, comparative and uh, we can use one machine or the other that has the same effect. Yeah, there are a couple of things. First of all, in, in former times, uh, we just measured uh, axial length and keratometry and, and didn't care about anything else. But the patient profile is different. There are patients that have undergone uh, refractive surgery. Sometimes they don't even remember that or they don't mention that because it's 10, 15 years ago. Uh, as you know, LASIK and PRK is, is quite long already on the market. And you have to look at the, at the corneal uh, properties. Uh, other things like the den densitometry of the lens is unique with the Pentacam and very important, especially if you also work with the femtosecond laser application, you want to see is this a suitable candidate for the surgery and so on. Anterior chamber depth is important, even in combined surgery with uh, micro stands. So there is a lot of information you can get out of it with one measurement and you don't need to do, do again. If I look at the um, intraocular lenses, there's one thing very important, the corneal aspherosity, the high order aberration, this can lead to a decision between an EDOF lens or between a multifocal lens and so on. And this is also very important. Sizing of lenses, anterior uh, uh, um, chamber or uh, uh, PC IOLs for the fake it patient is important. So there's a lot of stuff I can get out of one Pentacom measurement. Yeah, of course, this is uh, uh, our, our more or less our gold standard in evaluating every refractive patient and every cataract patient before surgery. So everybody gets the machine. And a lot of patients, if they come like a referral after they have been operated somewhere else, they also get a Pentacom to get a complete overview uh, of what's going on in the anterior segment, what about the cornea and all the other uh, features. So it is a routine thing. We have three Pentacoms in our clinic where we uh, use them every day uh, on a very regular basis, yeah.